We got a doctor from Portugal that's come all this way because he has unresolved neck pain, ear pain, TMJ jaw pain, headaches. He has vertigo every morning. He can't sleep at night. He has diarrhea weirdly when he has neck pain. He has tinnitus. He also has seen tons of doctors, quacks I call them, tons of chiropractors have not helped him. You can see his grinding that goes on here in his neck when he does this. His neck hurts when he pulls his jaw back like this. Here is x-rays. He has bone growth in there that shouldn't be there. One half atlas wear. Watch his treatment. Drop. Yep. Yep. He gave me the whoo. <laughs> so I'm with Pedro and uh, he is from Portugal and uh, doctor, podiatrist. About a year and a half, I started with uh, neck pain um, with uh, pressure in my ear, my TMJ, headaches, uh, noxious in the morning and uh, many doctors, orthopedic doctors, uh, neurologists, general, Practitioners, uh, medication, three chiropractors, uh, three, three times a week. week. When uh, my neck is really inflamed, uh, the pressure on my left rear makes me dizzy. And what do we call it in Portugal? Zumbido. Zumbido. Whatever. Yeah. Don't beat me up, or Portugal people. Ecofeno. Uh, when does that hurt, by the way? Uh, when I'm eating. No sleep for two years, too. And then diarrhea, also. When I wake up noxious, and dizzy, uh, diarrhea. Diarrhea comes. Some pain in the shoulder blade, some left knee pain, vertigo a couple times a week. The one thing I'm angry about with him, <laughs> he's learned how to adjust feet. I guess there's nobody cares about podiatrists adjusting feet. And he's learned how to adjust necks too. Tell us what you've learned about chiropractic from a neck point of view. My, my treatments on feet was only with uh, orthotics. Orthotics, gotcha, fair enough. And orthotics don't resolve. Uh, every foot in the pain. I love it. Okay. Good, 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 good. So I have to learn first to adjust the feet. Because you thought that was where you had to go through that yourself to learn. Yeah. Got it. And then uh, uh, I went to a, a, a chiropractic uh, course um, to adjust the feet. The feet, and then the neck. Well, uh, I found in, in my patient that the talus is uh, it's very anterior and stuck. So the patient also uh, said to me that. Her, her neck hurts. So I made an adjustment to the upper cervical, C1, C2. Immediately. The, Notice the difference. Yeah, the talus yeah. completely. How much tension you're paying in your back? Mm -hmm. No, not really. Gosh, you sure you heard a pop. I heard a pop. Like this way. How about that? Your back? No. Mm -hmm. How about that? No. Nope. Gotcha. Look at the ceiling, please. How about that? Uh, my upper neck. And then what's what's the scale, please? Uh, three, four. Oh. And what does that do? No pain with this, but what does it do? Grinding. Grinding. Uh, and now the uh, jaw. Only one. I'm, I retract. And how much pain when you retract? Uh, two. Two. I've never seen these before, so I can't wait to test them after we adjust them. The X-rays are um, pretty off balance. The interesting thing about him is that the left leg is shorter, but his whole body leans to the right, which takes a lot of energy to screw up that much. Arthritis-wise, the atlas is completely worn out, but his reverse curve is the, really the top. It's a C2, C3 area kind of issue. Hey guys, we have a nine millimeter imbalance, occipital tilt and left TMJ. Here we have six millimeter short right leg, 13 millimeter pelvic rotation and rib calcification. Here we have one half atlas wear, high reverse curve, bone growth in the muscle and large EOP. Here we just have significant constipation. So I'm gonna push on his neck in here. You guys get to see me do this. Push in here. It doesn't hurt that bad. But it should hurt more right in here now, right in there. Not sure or not? True. True, true. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And so that's where the reverse curve is, guys, and that's where the convexity of the curve goes the wrong way. And that's putting pressure on the atlas. Let's go here, please. Drop. Gotcha. Even though he's been adjusted a lot of times, he's a little nervous. Yeah, a little sweaty. <laughs> How was that, sir? Oh, very different. Different? Yeah. How was it different, sir? It's more deep. Deep? Yeah. Gotcha. Right there. You can already hear it going. So he, sell, he doesn't claim that he's a self-adjuster, but he says he moves his neck a lot and mm -hmm. it cracks a lot. But you can feel that self-adjusting. Drop. <sighs> you okay? Yep. Ooh, he gave me the whoo. <laughs> Helping the doctor up because he's a little lightheaded. You can see it in his eyes. 
when I treat somebody that has imbalances, it feels weird. Actually, it feels like you're even more imbalanced, which is a good thing because it's going to force your body to change. A little bit of light added. Okay. So this is where we bring the magic together. We bring the adjustment of the neck, changing the way the brain works, and bring it to the body. Light. Light. Good. Light. Good. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Tension. Oh, wow. You can see the difference. You see that? <laughs> Much less. Much less, right? Tension. Okay, back this way. Look at that. Yeah. Mr. Flexible down. <laughs> he kind of looks like Plasti Fantastic, doesn't he? From the, <laughs> the, the <laughs> I was looser again. Look at the yeah. ceiling. This is the t test, right? See how much looser that is. What much number is that now, though? Maybe a one. Oh, uh, yeah. Kind of curious. Just a little bit much less. Much less, right? Much less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now let's do the jaw thing. No pain. Cool, right? Yeah, cool. <laughs> Say goodbye, Pedro. Bye. <laughs> um, it's doing better, huh, sir? Much better. Gotcha. Like night and day. Gotcha. And so, what has what is the big difference here? Is it the adjustments or the education? What is the big thing that's the game changer for you here? I think it's it's a mix, uh, adjustments and all that you uh, are willing to teach to, yeah. to your patients. Yeah, yeah makes cool. all the difference. Come to push down their shoulders. Um, what I want you to do is think about eight pans in this chair right now, or eight pans. Mm -hmm. Good, there you go. See how you dropped your shoulders some more? Mm -hmm. Now I'm pushing on your shoulders for a couple reasons. One, I'm trying to get you to relax. And the second one is I'm trying to teach you what you're going to feel like when I let go. So okay. I'm pushing the shoulders down to try to give you that feeling of when you're doing ape hands properly, mm -hmm. you're going to be chasing this feeling. Brain perceives relaxation when the shoulders are down. Whether it's relaxed, whether you're relaxed or not, it's all posture. <laughs> so when the shoulders are down, the brain feels relaxed. Just like a dog and a cat, when they get scared or they're in a fight, what happens? The hair stands up on their back. Mm -hmm. We talked about this yesterday. Have you been just in the chair before? Nope. Never. I'm sure Dr. Rahim would have done this to you. <laughs> I don't think so. Dr. Thayer was mad when you told him that. Okay, drop your head, drop your head, drop forward, please. Okay. How was that different than laying down? It's slower. Slower? It's slower. Interesting, huh? It is a little slower. Forward here, forward, forward, uh, forward, shoulders forward, please. Mm -hmm. More and more. Good. It's fun to kind of exchange ideas on a doctor's level kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. uh, Pedro, one week down, what is going on? How do you feel about this so far? I'm so much better. And I wake up in the morning and I, I don't have that feeling that I have to grab a pill if I need during the day. Oh, uh, interesting. It's, it's, I forgot about that. Yeah, so wonderful. 70, 80%. Wow. 80%. One week. Cool. And then the ears? Fullness in the ears? Went away. Gotcha. Completely away. And the ringing in the ears? How about your tinnitus? Yeah. Gone. TMJ, how's your job? Better. Better, better too, right? Uh, maybe a one. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't touch his jaw yet. Yeah. All I would have done is what? What have we done the whole week? The neck. Neck. Diarrhea. Diarrhea too? Two. Yeah. What? How, how's that? I don't know. How's that changed? Any change? Normal. Normal. Completely normal. Yeah. Uh, pain between shoulder blades? Uh, Left side? A little bit. Just a two. No knee pain. How about uh, dizziness? Actually, this morning, a little bit. Okay. Uh, when I wake up. What would you tell yourself about this week? You come to Dr. Thayer, be prepared for this. What? What do you tell him? What we have to do is work our minds. Good. And posture and how to relax. Yeah. yeah. I know. Is that it? When you're listening to this, guys, it sounds pretty damn simple, right? How simple is it? It is not. Yeah, 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 simple yeah, 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 yeah. thing. Tell them about staying in Glendale versus Santa Ana, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the traffic was uh, <laughs> terrible. Yeah, so when you guys are in another country and you decide to come to Southern California and you just like this go, Oh, Dr. Thayer's right here. I'll just stay right there. Those are, that thumb, that finger is a long ways away from my office. <laughs> So, uh, call me. I will help you with the hotel. We have one right down the street and it's cheap. Good. So, anything else you want to share? Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Right. So far, Got so one more week. We'll get his video next week. So, over the week, the adjustments have gotten a lot better on him. Uh, very, very deep. Um, and he's still a little tight. Still have to work on his relaxation. Um, but uh, it's going pretty damn good. And like mm -hmm. I said, he's feeling pretty good. Yeah. So.
I know I didn't make a lot of noise there, guys, but it went a ton this morning, mm -hmm. which is interesting because this is the second time it's happened this way where I adjust you the second time, it doesn't go as much. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually thinking that is not where the problem is. I think the problem is more up on him. And the reason I say that is because I clear this out. Usually I don't clear it out that fast, mm -hmm. not in one visit. It usually takes more visits than that. So I think this is just a reflection of all that tension you build when you walk around and keep lifting your chin. After the, the last adjustment, um, uh, some changes in my uh, uh, in my symptoms, especially on the, on the left side. Yeah, had some clicking in the clavicle here. Uh, had problems sitting a lot of times. Um, he'll tell you that it didn't go back. It wasn't as bad as it was before, but some of his old symptoms kind of a little bit flare up here and there. So we were struggling with working on his posture. So today, Atlas, let's see what happens. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Love it. Let's do it. So mastoid process. You have to slide right off of it. Feel a difference, right? Mm -hmm. It was hard to get his atlas locked out. I think I have to put a little more rotation on it. So you can feel the atlas is right here, right? Mm -hmm. And that's off of it now. And that's on it right there. See the difference? Yep. So you have to really just again find the mastoid mm -hmm. and put it right there. Now the problem is when I put you in a lateral flexion here, the atlas starts to disappear. Can you yep. feel that? Mm -hmm. Right there, it starts to disappear. But you gotta stay right on it. That was just way, way, way better on the other side. Such a relief. Such a difference, huh? Yeah. How was that different than the other chiropractors? That was very different. The, the, the method, the, the... And a, a lot of chiropractors told me, oh, uh, less is more, less is more. Interesting, huh? That's an interesting so, take. That wasn't less is more, huh? No. That was more is more. <laughs> uh, us Americans, more is more! <laughs> I think it was easier than yesterday. Yeah. See, it's already locked out right there. See how deep that one is? Mm -hmm. This is going to hurt a lot. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. Okay. Let's go here. Good. Yep. <laughs> you felt it move. Yep. When you're this skinny, it's easy to see the bones. <laughs> Good. How bad is that? Really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> Do you okay. start to feel your hand go numb a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. And so the brachial plexus goes under here. All this mm -hmm. is brachial plexus right in here. And so when I push here, it causes the hand to go numb a little bit. Yeah, like a... Uh, little tingles. Yes. This was worse. Yeah, why? You can feel it. Yeah. Good. Hand go numb yet? Go. Oh, good. That's it, I would do it right there, like that. Mm -hmm. She's a tough chick. She's tough, yeah. <laughs> it's more in this side. Because Interesting, I this one felt tighter. Yeah. This feels tight right here. This didn't feel as tight, but good. That would more, hurt more. More painful this side. Right side, yet generally dominant hand side is the problem side. How much better are you, sir, over the last two weeks? I would say 70%. I used to grab a pill and, okay, if I need it, it's there. To me, if I sit on your hands, ten. Yeah. yeah. Now, completely uh, let go. Interesting. I forgot about the pills. So part of the issue with you, I think now, because we've had trouble with uh, with this tell, trying to find out when he has the problem. He's medicating himself. I just heard that right now for the first time. He told me that before, but um, that that doesn't give you the ability to listen to your body as well because he keeps covering it up. So he uses he masks it so he doesn't listen. And so part of his issue that he's had a problem with is listening here. So that makes sense to me. I just totally even, didn't even see it because he does it so nonchalantly that it didn't make a big deal. So that could be an issue. Mm -hmm. Left neck, better, we said. Headaches, some acceptable headaches. Just a little bit uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Yep. We did some kind of new adjustment on him. You guys see the video of that. Um, uh, it, for some reason, woke something else up. I went back to C3, C4 adjustment, and that seemed to solve everything. Uh, we changed the way he drives, and that seemed to solve even more. Mm -hmm. Ears, how's your ear? Uh, 
much better. Yeah, the pressure, yeah. pressure decreased. And that was driving him crazy before. Fullness, tinnitus, ringing the ears every day? Uh, like I said, a little bit yesterday. Uh, but all gone. He had a little yesterday because he couldn't rotate. Everything that got swollen up. I told him I think it's separation anxiety because he loves me so much, doesn't want to be in another country without me. And that happens, you know? It used to be just the girls, now it's the guys too. Yeah. <laughs> How was your job? We haven't even talked about no that. Issues. No. no issues. Sleep. No. Still sleep. Sleep. Still great. Actually, great. really good. Great. Diarrhea. That's better too. Yeah. Subscap pain. I forgot what to ask about this. How's this? Today, I didn't feel anything. But yesterday yeah. in the evening, you felt yeah, just a little bit. Knee pain. Good. And dizziness. He was he was dizzy yesterday. I had vertigo yesterday. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, pretty good overall. Mm -hmm. Again, something happened yesterday. I told him it was more mental. But there were some physical attributes to it too. I mean, the setback is definitely some physical part, but his anxiety about, I think, going home, not having this 100% solved, you know, and then also not doing what I told him. I told him to get out of bed. He goes, I laid in bed all day. I go, oh crap, you need to still get up. And so a lot of that is just anxiety. I did C4 this morning, and that mm -hmm. solved a lot of problems. But let's go C3, a little higher. As you see on his x-rays, guys, which will pop it up right now, there, are, there is a high neck reversal. That high neck reversal has been his problem from day one. Right there, C3. Wow. Can you bring your ear towards me, please? Different, huh? Very good. Yeah. Very different. Pedro, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>